So in the Jewel's Kingdom event, we get exclusive skills that boost monsters' attack according to the attributes that they own. And different attributes have different skills, as we can have a look right here. It is actually dependent on how many people use the attributes last time. So uh, for example, what we have right now is the water attribute one, which gains 300 attack. And also you can uh, once per duel use this skill manually to boost a another 300 attack to all of your water monsters. Even though it's not the best one currently, for example, uh, whoops. For example, if we have a look at the earth skill, the earth skill boosts 600 attack and uh, also gives you an extra card, which is pretty good. But uh, for our purposes, for our purposes, the water one is good enough. It gives us a bit of attack to beat up our opponent's monsters. So uh, we're playing Dynamist. Dynamist is a water machine pendulum deck. And it's really simple, and it's really consistent, and uh, it plays through opponent's back row, and it can OTK, so it's really good for this event. And also because you're gaining attack with your skill, your EX skill from the event, you can beat over your opponent's monsters that you otherwise cannot beat with this deck, because this deck caps out at a attack of 2500 which isn't a lot but if you use your skill you can get up to 3100 which beats over monsters like blue eyes white dragon which is pretty good uh, extra deck we're playing a bunch of xyz and also link disciple to occasionally get rid of ibli locks if we happen to face against one uh we're playing rank 4 and rank 5s because our monsters are level 4 and level 5 monsters we have options going first, like Giant Hand and Abyss Dweller. Uh, options going second, like Utopia ranking up into Lightning, and also Melvin Sin, of course. And for rank 5s, we have uh, Vimana going first and uh, Armageddon going second. And uh, just keep note that all of these are optional. I don't make them a lot. They're just uh, just as a backup plan. Usually, you're just going for an OTK using Spinos because it can tribute two monsters to use its effect to attack directly and also attack two times. So uh, it has 2500 attack, which makes it plenty to deal a lethal amount of damage. Or maybe aside from, you know, Warning Point and uh, Floodgate Chapel, which I'm pretty sure no one's playing. Looks just like Fall Blade. <sighs> Oh yeah, that's the the pure salads that we were talking about. It's a normal summon. Skill. Skill them both. Skill that. Even make the mana. I don't think it does. Re I don't think it does a lot against salad specifically. So let's just end turn. And also we have to dispel, so we're pretty fine. I think we should be fine. Basically, Dynamis anti-target effect doesn't work against. Continuous traps. That kind of sucks. That's, but it's, I think it, I'm pretty sure it works against uh, Circle, right? It works against Circle, right? Uh, Dark Magical Circle. Well, that's a continuous spell, so. Oh wait, but this act negates the activated card effect. 
So because Circle is already face up on field, I I think it still negates it. I'm actually not very sure. So you can probably tell. Activate charge number two to grab our win condition. I mean, we just don't need it anyway. We just attack their opponent's board. They don't have anything. It is an attempt to punish, yeah, okay. Ooh, that's a pretty scary floodgate. Well, uh, thank goodness that we didn't pendulum summon before we summoned uh, the spanners. Ain't gonna do anything. It's not gonna do anything. But yeah, I just realized that he's actually not playing silence. Or, or maybe he is, but he's just uh He's just uh, bricked and drew the hot pour for whatever reason. Maybe he's playing it. And then we uh shuffle, I guess. Tribute this. Oh yeah, the reason why I didn't activate the skills because even though we even if we did, we still can't win this turn, so really isn't a point to doing that. He is playing salads. Yeah, uh, Orca sending my cards might be a slight problem, just because it's non-targeting and non-destruction, so it gets around both of my skills effects, but uh, I'm s still pretty confident one send ain't gonna do a lot. If he sends any of our pendulum monsters, it still gets recycled. We're gonna unfortunately have to scale the Rex, but uh, that should be no big deal. Now we can just summon both. And I'm pretty sure we just attack directly and win.
Yeah, book ain't gonna do anything. And also, I get back my rags. Thank you very much. I can scale my rags. I tribute to attack directly. Boom. Hmm, can we actually win against our opponent's rebellion if he's going to make one? That's a problem. If our opponent makes rebellion, he could negate my, uh, my spinners. Is it called spinners or spiners? I think it's called spiners because it it clearly has a really huge spine. And also spine spiners kinda rhymes with dino. So I would assume it's spinos. Okay, you see when you're actually making content about Yu-Gi-Oh, you will have to actually pronounce the card names. Usually you don't have to worry about how to pronounce cards, you just play the card. But uh, when you're making content about it, you will have to worry about how you pronounce stuff. I think it's Spinos. It's Spinos. And that's just Ceratops. It's Rex. I'm assuming the P is silent because pterodactyl. So that's uh, what? Terran? And this is uh, Brachion. Splesios. Mm, Dark Raccoon Sec 2. Hmm. Not really ideal, but it's fine. We could play through that, I think. I, found, I think we have to rely on our EX skill to do that. So we just set scales and then... No, I don't think we have to rely on our EX skill because our level 4 reduces his attack. So I think we still might be, uh, still might have enough attack even if we don't activate our skill. You know the card by art? Yeah, exactly, you're right. Usually I, I also remember cards by their art, but you kind of can't do that when you're trying to explain what each card does when you're making content. Boom. And I think we just activate our skill and go attack our opponent. Oh, that's a nice compulse. Uh, it would be really a shame if I were to negate it. And also charge effect is mandatory, so I have to grab it back. I do not have a choice. Boom. Boom. Easy. It is Orcust. Actually a pretty interesting choice to use uh, the Earth skill instead of the Dark one like everyone else. 
What does the Earth one do? What does it add? It acts the Rock Spirit, so you can just banish the the Scrap Recycler to get a free monster. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Just an extra beta or extra like material. It does have what seventeen hundred attack, I believe, but it's an it, it's enough to OTK. Yeah, seventeen hundred attack, and also it increases by three hundred during your opponent's battle phase. But yeah, it allows you to go for an OTK with only Dengusu on field. You can always just special summon. Just rock spirit from your hand, and it, now you have enough for lethal. Yeah, seems a, seems like a pretty good strategy. Pure salad doing good in the event because of attack boost. Yeah, it's probably the only format where salads will be remotely playable right now. Cringe orcas users use nightmare. Yes. I like the Babel version so much more. Even though the Nightmare version is pro probably better overall, but uh, I don't care. I don't care. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty good cosmic. Then and I just attack directly and win. Yeah, it's that simple. Because I can boost my attack. And because he activated Cosmic he lowered his life points. So originally I couldn't OTK, but because he cosmic, I could. No, actually, if, even if he didn't uh, cosmic, I can still OTK just because I can attack twice. But now I can only attack once, but because his life points are down, I could OTK him. Yeah, Crackdown. Oh, wait, huh? Huh? How's that work? Huh? Why does it. You can negate an activated card effect. So it doesn't pop it? It doesn't negate it? It's not negated. You see, uh, when you click on it, it doesn't. Uh, Show the, the negate symbol. I, I have no idea how this works. How? Why? Why is it not negated? 